Bema autonym, Pei 53, is a language spoken by 10,000 Bema people, of Tibetan nationality, in north-central Sichuan Province, and Gansu Province, China. Bema is passed on from parents to children in Bema villages. It is spoken within the home domain and is not used in any media of mass communication. Bema is often classified as a Sino-Tibetan dialect and is currently endangered. In terms of geographical locations, Bema is spoken in Pingwu County, Mianyang, Sichuan Si Chuan, Baimagu Bai Ma Gu He, Wen County Wen Xi'an, Gansu Gansu, Wujiao Wu Jiao Kun, Juzegao County Ju Jai Go Xi'an, Nawa Tibetan and Chang Autonomous Prefecture, Sichuan Si Chuan Bema uses subject object verb, SOV, word order, initial consonant word clusters, and is tonal. It is unclassified within Sino Tibetan. There are multiple layers of borrowings from Amdu, Kams, and Zongu Tibetan, as well as lexical and grammatical connections with Changjik languages. Basic vocabulary is about 85% Tibetic and 15% Changjik, and the Tibetic words do not link to any established group of Tibetic languages. Cherkova suggests that the Changjik vocabulary might be a retention from the language originally spoken by the Bema before their shift to a form of Tibetic in the 7th century. She accepts Bema as Tibetan, but as an isolate within the Tibetic languages. History Bema speakers number around 10,000 and have lived for generations in the mountainous region spanning the borders of Sichuan Province and Gansu Province. After the establishment of the People's Republic of China in 1949, Bema speakers have requested to grant them recognition as an independent ethnic group on many occasions. Historians believe that the Bema are descendants of the ancient Di people in China. Chinese records from 551 AD mention that the Di are also called Bema. One historian states. The Bema tribe was the largest tribe of the Di nationality, which lived in Gansu, Sichuan and Shaanxi during the Three Kingdoms period 220–265 AD. Tibetans invaded the Di territory in the 7th century and assimilated the local population, which probably subsequently shifted into a form of Tibetan spoken by the invaders. Linguists consider Bema to be an independent language of the Tibetan branch but the language itself has been greatly influenced by Tibetan. In addition, DNA specialists have discovered that the Bema are genetically closer to the Chang people than to the Tibetans. Dialects There are distinctions within the Bema language itself. Bema is mainly divided into three dialect groups, Southern Bema, Pingwu Bema, Northern Bema, Wenxian Bema, Western Bema, Juzegao Bema, Songpan Bema. The Bema spoken in Juzegao and surrounding areas differs from that spoken in Songpan County in the Aba Tibetan Chang Autonomous Prefecture and Wenxian County in Gansu Province, Sun Hongkai, et al. 2007, document the following three dialects of Bema. Pingwu County, Sichuan, Tilu, Tai Lu Kang Zhu Shang Wen County, Gansu, Wujiao, Wu Jiao Shang Juzegao County, Sichuan. Classification The classification of Bema has caused controversy among linguists. Bema is provisionally classified with the Kams group, although it also has a number of Amdu characteristics. Reasons for this are presumably the drastic simplification of the syllable structure, the elimination of ancient Tibetan syllables codas and the presence of tones. While many scholars believe that Bema is a separate Tibeto-Burma subgroup in its own right, others believe that it should be identified as a Tibetan dialect. While Bema and Tibetan share many basic similarities, they are essentially different. In fact, the differences between Bema and Tibetan far exceeded those existing between the three main Tibetan dialects spoken within Chinese territory. Therefore, Bema scholar, Sun Honkai, argued that Bema should be considered an independent language which is different from Tibetan but which belongs to the Tibetan branch. Vocabulary Overall, Bema vocabulary is highly heterogeneous. It consists predominantly of transparent Tibetan provenance and appears to combine features of Kams and Amdu. 
However, sound correspondences between sound system of ancient Tibetan, as reflected in standard written Tibetan orthography and Bema are less regular than those between written Tibetan orthography and established groups of modern Tibetan dialects. Bema vocabulary also exhibits two features which are not present in all other dialects, first, voicing of voiceless aspirated stops and affricates after nasal prefixes, second, the treatment of written Tibetan orthography. Furthermore, Bema has some words that are of unclear etymology, even in its basic vocabulary. The proportion of these words has never been estimated, nor has basic vocabulary ever been the topic of detailed investigation. In Ekaterina Cherkova's article, On the Position of Bema Within Tibetan, a look from basic vocabulary, she examined the 100-word Swadesh list for Bema, as the layer of lexicon which is arguably least resistible to change and which therefore can shed light on the genetic affiliation of this language. She then discovered that the 100-word Swadesh list for Bema contains 84 words of Tibetan origin, 15 words of unclear origin and another 7 words with partial cognation, in which one element is of unidentified origin. Four words are doublets, most of which combine one word of unclear origin with a word of Tibetan origin. According to her analysis, Bema has a simple syllable structure. All Bema syllables are open and have the N, C, B makeup, where N stands for prenasalization and is home organic with the following consonant. Most Bema verbs have two stems, the imperfective, marked by prenasalization and mostly the high falling tone, and the perfective, imperative, marked by the high rising tone. Bema verbs have directional aspect, with different prefixes combining with verbs to represent progression of an action in a specific direction. Using prefixes to show directional aspect is an important and unique feature in Bema language. In sum, Cherkova concluded that Bema diverge significantly in lexicon and phonology from the established groups of Tibetan dialects. Grammar Bema dual and plural pronouns for the first person have inclusive and exclusive forms. Bema singular personal pronouns have nominative accusative forms, which are expressed by inflectional changes in the vowels. The forms of Bema pronouns for the third person, whether singular, dual, or plural, are very different from those in the Tibetan dialects. In comparison to Tibetan, Bema has many more classifiers. Among the over 3,000 common lexical items included in a study of the Bema lexicon transcribed in Tibetan and Chinese, there were over 110 specific or loan classifiers. For instance, in Bema, there are many different words for the numeral. One which can combine with classifiers and the reason for it is unclear. An increasing number of classifiers also led to an increase in their function in Bema grammar, while the ways in which they are used are also changing. Directionality is an important grammatical feature in Bema. Bema has a large number of case-marking articles, which perform very important syntactic functions. Phonology the phonology of Bema is very similar to that of the Kam Tibetan dialect. They have both retained a voiced voiceless contrast and have four to five contrastive tones as opposed to Amdu dialect. Africates, four sets of africates exist in the Bema language. They are apical, retroflex, laminal, and pre-laminal. Rhymes. Bema rhymes are very similar to the Kam Tibetan dialect, but its vowel system is much more complex. Codas have essentially been lost and vowels show considerable differentiation, with the appearance of many back diphthongs. In general, the number of tones in Bema is also similar to Kam Tibetan. But the correspondences between Bema tones, onsets, and rhymes with written Tibetan are not as clear as those between Khan Tibetan and written Tibetan. Controversy the status of the Bema language has caused major controversy among scholars and the people within the region. As a native language spoken by the natives in the Tibetan region, Bema certainly shared similarities with Tibetan dialects. Although the Bema people have sought after their claims as an independent ethnic group since the 1960s, the Bema language remained classified as a Tibetan dialect. According to linguistic research conducted by Bema scholars such as Song Hongkai, Nishida Tatsua, and Katya Cherkova, who extensively analyzed the grammatical, lexical, and phonological differences between Bema and Tibetan, Bema should not be regarded as a Tibetan dialect, but instead, an independent language within the Tibetan branch. 
Because of its status as a minority language, the use of Bema is limited to religious ceremonies and intercommunication between Bema villages, which significantly furthered the endangerment of Bema language. Additionally, the language of communication with neighboring communities throughout all Bema inhabited areas is Mandarin Chinese. As for the Bema people themselves, they were never officially reclassified as an individual ethnic group rather than a branch of Tibetans, as Reclassification of ethnic groups listed as Tibetans remains a sensitive issue in the PRC, and is considered by many Tibetans as an attack on Tibetan identity by the Chinese government. As a result, the Bema language remains poorly documented till this day and continues to raise the question of language in the role of cultural survival. References